The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year, too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. Oh, that's a beautiful to, uh... thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, a great St. Patrick's Day. We have our man, Mr. Dan Cook, with us today, all the way from beautiful Chicago, celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Dan is the business development director of Nadex who is sponsoring our workshop tomorrow. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Really looking forward to this for a long time. It's always great to be doing these live seminars in front of people where you can really, you know, get out and meet and greet and, and really just talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. Totally. And we haven't seen all our tigers and tigresses for a long period of time, so that is really going to be great. Absolutely. It's been way too long and uh, really looking forward to this event. Very excited about it. Big time. So, we, you know, I always start off with the four agreements, right? Mm -hmm. But since it's St. Patrick's Day, and since we're both Irish. Yeah, absolutely. And everyone's Irish today, folks, okay? <laughs> so, here's, here's the first one. May your glass be ever full, may the roof over your head always be strong, and may you be in heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's the serious one. For, I, lo I, lo I love that one too, but I really love this one. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. Because the Irish That's have been lucky, man. I mean, we've been, we've been a lucky race. Absolutely. For a small race, we're definitely a lucky been, race. Been blessed. I know, totally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 20, NASDAQ up eight, S&P's flat, gold contract up $2, trading at 1,229 an ounce, silver up Eight cents at seventeen dollars and forty-one cents an ounce. Platinum up four bucks, nine sixty-one an ounce. We get copper up a penny and a half at two sixty-eight a pound. Light sweet crude flat, forty-eight dollars seventy-nine cents a barrel. Notes, ten-year note up four ticks, one twenty-three twenty-three. Thirty-year bond up eighteen ticks, one forty-eight fourteen. Now both notes and bonds, folks, rejected lower price again uh, this week. Uh, that's going to be a heavy rejection on the weeklies. King dollar, king dollar down 55 ticks, traded at 100.130. That is going after its lowest swing point of 99.145. You got a seller in king dollar. The euro is traded at 107 to the US dollar, and the yen is at 112.70 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? Bottom line, you get a sideways market. You get a market that won't pull back. It's a one-way market, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is almost unbelievable at this point. It's, it's, you know, it's, I mean, today's St. Patrick's Day, so it's all green. But, man, it's been all green for so long. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And if you just look at that price action in the last couple weeks, it's almost where we started two weeks ago. It it's is. It's come, come a little bit. It, 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 but it's still just staying at those high levels. It's staying at those high levels. So what you have is that you get the SPY up uh, 20 cents here at 237.65. Uh, what is going to get intriguing here, let me just look at this on the weekly for a second. So on the weekly, what you're going to have two... Now, you're not even going to have a failure on the weekly because the weekly would have to close under 236.01. And where I'm going with that, that would be a close under the low of, last, of two weeks ago. And mm -hmm. guess what? You're not going to get it. We take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you have with the Dow Industrials. You know, same type of setup in the Dow. Uh, the Dow right now is at 20,950. 
And I think it's, yeah, it's not, oh, this is going to be interesting. So on the, on the, on the weekly here, um, same deal. It's not going to be a failure. Um, on the dailies, yeah, if you close under that 957, you get a failure. Uh, big deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the composite. Now, is that composite up at 5,900? That's right, it's the highs. You know, bottom line, the composite, the volume's light, but that thing looks like it wants to get tagged to 5,911 high uh, from March 1st. And then the NDX 100, we are at 131.87. And bottom line is you're over the 130.45, I mean, the 131.68, which was, you know, that. March 1st high. We go to the gold contract. You know, gold caught a big bid here. No, no doubt about it. Uh, when the uh, Yellen came out and decided, okay, it's quite a percentage point, but um, it was pretty dovish, the statement in general. Like, you know, uh, yep. one rate, one, well, what, what I really dug is that she's saying from now until 2019, she thought it would only go up one full percent. Well, that's a long time. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big window. It's it, a big window. It is. So it, it, you know, and some people before the announcement were saying, oh, it could go up three times, four times um, this year. The way that these gold stocks were trading, it looked like it was going to go four times this year. I agree. Yeah. I mean, and they were but, getting hammered. Yeah, to come out with a statement like that, yeah. 2019. 20, exactly. <laughs> and we're yeah. only three months into 2017. <laughs> you know, so needless to say, you know, gold caught a bid. Um, and bottom line is that, uh, you know, it come down to support. Held now, guess 12, 6, 12 64 is game. Uh, silver, same type of setup uh, inside the silver market. Take a look at the uh, silver market out here. Uh, in silver, no doubt, is uh, <laughs> that market is a cycle market. Um, and the context of how fast and how quick that can move. That's okay, so. so, silver's trading. Oh, see, and this is nice. I like what silver mm -hmm. did today. So what we had is this, silver actually got down into a slightly lower price, folks, and rejected it. And that's what silver needed because, you know, it, it was strong, but not as strong as gold on Wednesday, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, liked, I like what's happened there. So silver's going to try to make its way back to that 1850 mark. Uh, the total mind blower, and I know you know this, Dan, because you've been in these markets forever, is the bond market will never die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You know, it's like every time that you think that the bonds want to go down, well, guess what? You know, the short-term rate went up 25 basis points, but guess what? They bought 10-year notes hand over fist. Went up a full mm -hmm. point. And, for, you know, for the 10-year, that's a big number. If we, if we go over to the good old King Dollar, uh, and, you know, King Dollar, regardless of everyone's saying that they think it's going to be strong, well, they're selling it. Yeah, uh, yes. as, as, you know, and, and a lot of it was the statement. We all yeah. really expected everything was priced in at, sure. at that quarter basis point. If, if they wanted to drive strength uh, in the dollar, they would have raised it to half a basis point. But there's way too many other things going on. Yeah. But just as you said earlier, when they came back out and put that target at 2019, yes, it's just unbelievable. What? It, 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 no support for the dollar in that statement. Isn't that wild? Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Dan and I are coming right back. Uh, we want to know what's going on in your world. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are up 12. you got the NASDAQ up 5. S&Ps are flat. Dan and I are going to be coming right back, folks. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dan Cook, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow up eight. NASDAQ is up five. S&P is a flat. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. I'm man, Mr. Dan Cook. Uh, happens to be right here. And uh, we're going to be talking uh, the Nadex platform. Uh, and first, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go over the trade that I did this morning, because this is going to be a tight one, man, as we're coming <laughs> into the close out here. So, uh, you know, most of the listeners know, Dan, what I like to do, um, I like trading on, on your platform. I like play, trading, I trade gold a lot, I trade uh, oil a lot, I trade the dollar a lot, and I trade the NDX 100. Uh, and what I like to do, I do the spreads, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm always looking for, I'm looking for, of course, high probability trades. And I think a high probability <laughs> trades. <laughs> we're, okay? we're all shooting for those, right? We're all shooting for those. And then what I like to do is that I, I here, I'll show you where, what I've, what I've what I'm thinking the market wants to do first, okay? So if we take a look at the NQs, um, the, the NQs the last few days, right? You know, they, mm -hmm. they've taken a couple hits, but every day they come all the way back again, okay? Mm -hmm. So and that, that's, the, that's kind of what the market has done. Um, so this morning, uh, and it was right here at like nine o'clock, um, when we talk about the spreads, you talk about the, the size of the box. So mm -hmm. I like, if I'm selling something, I like selling it as close to the top of the box, even though I know that that can be a zero trade for me, meaning the risk risk reward, I can lose what I put up. I, I like to define risk on it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and what, I, what I'm doing, and that's what I try to show people, is that you, you need to have a, a price projection you think it's going to go at. And see, when, when I look at this, because of the fact that you know, we've had a few downdrafts that have volume, and that's what I'm always looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, you get one here from uh, Tuesday, it's way down, I, you know, 53.64. Uh, we get another one down, downdraft at 9.30 yesterday. So yesterday, that downdraft there, that's why I sold that this morning, because mm -hmm. I felt like whoever that seller is there, they'll come back. So in that context, the we when we take a look at this trade, I was I think I was sixty five dollars. Um, I had the the point spread I had, folks, was a forty point uh, point spread, and I was risking sixty five dollars to make three hundred and thirty five per mm -hmm. contract. Yep. Um, you know, and so this contract right here, if you look at it right now, folks, and I had said to Dan earlier, I says, you know, it's intriguing because. You have a couple of different things happening. Of course, 
Th these expire at 4.15. Uh, you're on a Friday, okay, so that's, you know, important that realistically on a Friday, you can't expect a lot of movement after 4 o'clock because there's not going to be earnings coming out, you know what I mean? Yep. So it's really like when I look at a Friday, I look at a 4 o'clock close, really, even though it's 4.15, really? yep. you know what I mean? And you might see some action right before that. Oh, point. yeah. The, you know, it, as people are getting ready for the weekend, you don't want to hold positions, you can see some decent Totally, decent totally. Moves. You know, so in that context, like right now, if you were doing that trade, uh, I'll bring it down to one so it can make it easier so when the, the folks see it, you'd be risking, I risk, so now that same trade is risking $30, and you, I don't think you can expect the full price spread right now uh, to get 370 mm -hmm. But you can see um, when you're doing this, folks, it's pretty cool because right now the time value, mm -hmm. like I, I, I paid premium. Mm -hmm. You know, because, of course, this was 9 o'clock in the morning. A little bit more time. Right. You know, uh, and in this case, though, but if you're trading futures, you know, you, it's right at it. I mean, we're, we're at 54.18, and you can sell it at 54.16.20. Mm -hmm. That's, we, we know, when you trade futures, folks, a, a point and a half in the NDX 100 is nothing. I mean, ten, seven points are really nothing in the NDX 100. Absolutely. One of the things I like about this trade is we were just talking about Friday afternoons. It could yes. actually be a decent move in your favor. Or it could be a decent move against you. Yeah, no, no. You know, and, and that's what you that, don't know in these, you know, as people are closing out these positions. And that's why I like that defined risk. And that's why mm -hmm. I do like the, the tops and the bottoms. I think it, and it has to do with, I'm always looking for price projections. I mean, the, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's how I trade. You know what I mean? So I'm very comfortable with that. Um, you know, we had, a, we had a question in the den. This is a great question, too. Uh, and... So listen to this question, folks. You, you, if you haven't been in the Tiger's Den, you're going to get in the Tiger's Den, folks. I'm telling you. Uh, so the question in the Tiger's Den was, uh, what is the highest winning percentage uh, Nadex strategy uh, to be number one in the marketplace? And I looked at that question, and I said to Dan, I says, well, if you tell us, no. It says, if anyone knows that, would be billionaires, folks. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, there are so many strategies that can be successful. Yes. And, and I think Nadex is awesome, mostly for that limited risk that yes. you mentioned. But it doesn't matter the best strategy in the world, it's still trading. You still have to manage the risk. The way one person trades it isn't the way somebody else trades it. Right. Uh, so it'd actually be probably, uh, uh, it wouldn't be good of me to say, hey, this is a strategy, even if I knew it, which, which right. I don't, because there are so many strategies I've seen be effective. And, and well, this comes up with the point because there's plenty, like, because you have a platform. It's not that, that you have, you have the way that the Nadex makes money is they're not making money, they're making money on commissions. They're not making money on like a strategy. Right, right? On, on exchange fees. I mean, we just right. match buyers and sellers. So right. really any strategy on ours is 50-50 in right. our viewpoint because there's a buyer and a seller. Right. Um, you know, one thing I would mention though is what strategy, if you're trading the underlying market, what strategy are you using you to be successful there? Yes. Because this isn't a different market. And that's something that's important to understand whether you're trading binaries or spreads, the same strategy you're using, it's just a different way to view the same market. Um, and that's really important. So if you've got a strategy that you're using that's successful in one place, there's a few different contract specifications in different things, but it should really be the same strategy. Right. And you're still analyzing the same market. It's just a little bit different way to express that view. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. I do the same thing over and over and over again. What, what blows my mind um, in the context, uh, particularly in the gold market, like if we look at the gold market, is um, now the, the gold market, folks, okay, pit trade and closes at 130. But if you have a traded gold and the futures, you know, bottom line, I've, I've been trading this market for a very long period of time. Um, you can make a lose $10 in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You know, $10 is a thousand bucks. You know, so you're talking real money. And I loved when you came up with this product and it could be in the gold market because most times if I'm trading right now, what happens with gold, many times uh, if it's later in the afternoon, I'll trade right at the money, just like I'm trading the future, mm -hmm. you know, and then I'm paying like 40 cents. That's about it. Yep. I'm paying 40 cents versus in the future market. If I'm trading in the morning, I will go normally to the bottom of the box if, if I think it's down. Mm -hmm. um, but I love the idea that that is defined risk because if you, you know, any of those gold traders know it out there. Gold can get hammered or can go to the moon in about two mm -hmm. seconds. And even though you can have your stops in on the futures market, Guess what? We all know how that works. When you have a fast market, guess what? Boom! It's going to go right through it. I think that's you one know? of the most important parts. And uh, you know, as you know, I've been in the retail world for yes. a long time, right. working with individual traders. And, and the biggest failure I see isn't somebody necessarily doing something wrong, like particularly in currencies where you have really high leverage. Yes. 
it, it's they can be doing everything right, but the market all of a sudden somebody makes an announcement or the Swiss National Bank pulls a bag or you sure. know stuff like that happens, and all of a sudden what they thought would be a managed loss is so much more than they ever expected. Right. Right. It, that's a great way of saying it, too, because the managed loss, you can have it in, folks, and it's important to understand that um, most times, you know, you'll get it, but in the fast market, you absolutely do not. It, it, it's those outliers, too, that are right. the crushers. Just like oh. a lot of people make all their money on four or five trades a year and grind it out the rest, totally. some people lose all their money on one trade yep. every year. Oh, yeah. No doubt. You stay right there, folks. Dan and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right now, we get the dial up six. NASDAQ is up five, S&P's a flat. We'll get them right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new market-safe core commodity CD from EverBank. This five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities, gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi-annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percentage percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dan Cook, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. And we, are, of course, look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses uh, tomorrow at the uh, Tampa Weston. We're going to be doing that workshop in the morning. Uh, the weather is perfect for everyone coming in. Yeah, the weather yeah. is going to be perfect. It's going to be a great event. Yeah. We've got breakfast lined up. Yeah. We've got an awesome session with you lined up. Yeah. And then we'll get a tiger social social, social uh, from 1230 to 230 on the rooftop. On the And the rooftop will be beautiful. Yeah. What are we talking? 75, 78 75, degrees? 75, 75, yeah. I'm from Chicago. This is heaven. Yeah, I know. I totally. So here, let's, let's go over and let's take a look at this platform for a second. So 
uh, if you haven't test drove the Nanex platform, folks, you know, Tommy and I in the mornings, of course, we're always talking about, we're always trading it. Um, it's important that you test drive the platform before you get up live and because you'll get used to the, the different contracts, the different contract sizes, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And, you know, there's, you, you have binaries, you have spreads, you have indices, meaning depending what you'd like to trade. And I think it's so important that what, what I've found is this. So picture structurally, mathematically, you know, I can kind of understand them, you know, looking at them, saying, okay, what, mm -hmm. what's going on with them? It's the time value is really important when people are looking at them. Do you know what I mean? Because just Absolutely. like this, you know, this morning I bought this, I sold it at 65. Mm -hmm. We just showed that it was 30. And I had showed Dan before I get on what I, what I didn't want to do because I know we were doing this this morning. I had five contracts. I said, if this was a different time, I said, I'd day trade this right now and get five more contracts. But I didn't want to do that because we were coming on and I knew people were following us from this morning. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But you can see that was just a good trade because we were paying nothing for it. It was just a 21. Now it's at 14. Yeah, you were just, you know, uh, well, you just well, picked yeah, up can, 120 bucks. Uh, yeah. The last, uh, right. the, down about 205 the, just before it, the last break. It was almost double the money. 30, yep. now it's 58. Yeah. You know, so... That the time concept I think is so important, and that's what's so cool about how you let people um, do the demo, and there's no expiration on the demo anymore. A a absolutely. Well, technically they expire in uh, 2048 now. Oh. So, but if anybody needs, if <laughs> I, you know, just to, no, you know, I get it. I get full it. disclosure okay. here okay. from the exchange, but okay. yeah, uh, use it as long as you like. I think right. it's really important because while it's still the analysis that we talked about on, on the same markets people are used to. Yes. You do need to understand the contracts. Get right. in, take your time. There's right. no rush here. The market's going to be around for a long time. Take your time in the demo. Try out the strategies you've been using on other markets. If you're new to the market, stay in as long as it takes. Um, one, the platform's going to be a little bit different yep. than you're used to. Also, the contracts, as you said, timing. How do they move with the underlying market? Take as much time as you need in the demo. That was one reason why we really wanted to make them permanent. They're free. Get in and try it out. Do you know who's the big guru, guru here? Tommy. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. I, I watched uh, particularly it's, the Friday shows. I'm blown away by it. It's him. unbelievable. Man. We, we've I, had a lot of good conversations. He's, 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 and I'm so proud of him. I mean, I'm telling you, folks, okay, I've been trading forever, but I'm telling you, and I'm sure you've, you've heard him, he is a total mind blower, man. I mean, and it, it makes sense, too, because he grew up in, in a trading family. Yep. He's a huge card player, but understanding those percentages are like, he, like, he, he just, like, it's, it's like just natural for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. I'll tell you, I've been looking at this platform every day for about nine years now. Yeah. Um, it's changed a little bit in that yes. time, but, uh, I mean, Tommy still blows me away. I know, I mean, just man. It's so it, cool. Knowing the contracts and the specifics inside out. Seriously. On any market. It's, right. it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. So, if we, we take a look at this, you know, this is getting, uh, as we're coming in, the, yeah, he's the, the probability baby. That's a, <laughs> that's a fact, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It is. It's and, all and, and it's, it's so cool because what, it, what ends up happening, he's been not only helping you know the tigers and tigers but help me i mean just looking at it because it does make a difference you know and in fact if you go to uh, tfnn right now folks this is pretty cool if you go to tfnn right now let me it may pull this up because um he did an article this morning and it's right on the front probability of streaks ncaa tourney this is a great article isn't it so so picture this tommy is a Villanova graduate folks okay and of course that school is just a basketball magnet okay <laughs> yep. you know and so what he did he did a uh a probability study right on um actually how streaks can go and, mm -hmm. and even though you think that you have the number one you know team or one one person well it, it, streaks are a different animal streaks are a different animal and they're independent events yes and so even if you're an 88 as tommy illustrated if you're an 88 percent in six consecutive games that doesn't mean you're 88 percent you know, throughout the thing. Right. And we, we see that in sport all the time. It's, you're actually less than a 50-50. I know. It was a 44%. That's what happened. Now, what was when I was reading this this morning, what I loved about that is that the aspect is that, particularly for how I trade in general and I, how I trade the boxes, you know, if I'm if I'm risking folks 100 to make 300, well, you got to think that you're going to be wrong three times. You know, that's that's and you're still flat. Yep. So, I mean, I hope I'm not going to be. But understanding that streak is important because you do go on streak. Sometimes you feel like a King Kong, and sometimes you feel like you're going to hell. <laughs> understanding you know? it on both sides is actually very important. Yes. So you don't get too high when right. you have a nice, oh, I'm the king right. of the world trader. Right. Um, one of the things, you know, keeping a trading journal, I think, is so important oh, for huge. this respect because you can go back. You know, you get banged up, maybe you lose five in a row. Yes. And uh, you can go back and 
pick a day, maybe a step away, pick a day and go, okay, you know what? This happened before. Wasn't the end of the world. Right. Don't get out of position. Continue. Cash is a position, by the way. Don't it, ch start chasing the market. It is. It is, man. Yeah. It is. You know, so let me ask you this. The, you know, it, it's amazing. So in the exchange, because you know, we talk about the exchange a lot, but what I don't talk about a lot, which I think is just as important, well, probably more important, is that you're a regulated exchange. Mm -hmm. So what specifically does that mean? Uh, the CFTC, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, is our, is our regulator. Uh, really what it means is we have to act within a certain amount of rules. Okay. Um, for example, everything from how accounts are opened uh, and managed. Yes. Uh, the important part, I think, for most people, or the number one concern on people's mind is, where is my money held? E exactly. And when I want it back, can I get it? Right. So there are all rules that are regulated and dictated with that. Uh, one thing that's interesting um, from a regulatory perspective is we're actually considered a swap now. Okay. Uh, used to be options on futures. This actually adds another layer of protection. I think in a, in a segregated account, a lot of people assume that they have their own account sitting somewhere. Yes. Right? What they don't understand is there is actually large trader risk. So if for some reason the largest trader in that brokerage firm blows out, okay. your or my money can be pulled to offset that loss. Okay. A lot of people don't understand that this is even a thing, and, and also the way money is held. With Nadex, it's all held in cash accounts, but it's actually in an account in your name, which can't be commingled with any other traders' I funds. It. So it's wow. actually another layer of that's protection. Huge. Yeah, in that. right. And that's really one of the things in the CFTC and SEC, particularly binary options. Who, you know, there, there's people out there touting binary options, yes. but they're certainly not the tame, same type of instrument. Right. And uh, so the regulation is very important in that. And uh, they, they've been really active. The CFTC and the SEC on an international front were really the first ones to start being very active to make sure this was a good, clean market. Which is great because the, the, what happens, folks, is this. And you've probably got the emails. I've got them, okay? Um, in Europe, there's a lot of binary shops that are totally unregulated, right? I mean, it's a Shop, problem. Yeah, right? shops, well, it yeah. could be a problem. Could be a problem, yeah. Could be a problem. Yeah. Where, where it's... Trading with the Nadex is just like trading with the NASDAQ or trading with the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, absolutely. We're yeah. Uh, unbiased. Uh, so what that means is, first of all, I'm not allowed, just as a disclosure, I'm not allowed to trade Nadex contracts, nor are any employees, nor is, nor is Nadex as a firm allowed to trade either our markets or the underlying markets that we represent on our platform. Oh, that's cool. And, I didn't uh, know that. And, okay. and so we're completely unbiased right. to the outcome of the trade. It's always matching buyers right. and sellers. You're also anonymous. To your counterparty. So unlike trading against a broker, like we see, um, you know, say in uh, some of the oh, bucket shops. Goldman, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, as well as uh, transparency, you can get uh, price trade trade data right. uh, from a third party market, which we don't control or have any impact on. So yes. you can verify that for another level of confidence. It's a beautiful thing. You stay right there, folks. Dan and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now uh, down six. Nasdaq uh, is flat. S and P's are down two and a half. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dan Cook, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. And happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Uh, that uh, the green is going to be flowing everywhere. Absolutely. Gotta, hey, and listen to this. Uh, for all you folks in Boston, now I should have known this, okay? So the first St. Patrick's Day celebration was in Boston in 1737. Really? Yeah, isn't that crazy? 1737. Yeah, you're like, don't you think that's crazy? That, See, that is crazy. That's what I but thought. Like my, 12, my son, 12 my, people and, got and, together and, 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 and Tommy's saying to me, this morning, well, what's so crazy about that? It's Boston, you know? <laughs> well, how, it, how big was Boston in 1737? It's gotta be tiny. Uh, yeah. The reason, you know why the reason I thought it was crazy? Because we only came over here like 100 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> only, only 100. Uh, yeah, uh, late yeah, 1890s was, my, was when my, my grandma. grandparents. Yeah, yeah, it was my grandmother. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, so anyway, <laughs> pretty wild, man. But that's pretty cool. 1737. It, that is. And, 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 for all you folks uh, up in Boston right now, we know you're off because in Suffolk County, that is the only place in the whole United States that's a legal holiday. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can actually picture that. And no, it should I, be. Oh, it should be for sure. It should be. <laughs> so if we uh, go back over now, it's going to get interesting coming into the close out here, folks. Okay. Because if we're looking at the same trade that I'm in, you'll, you'll see that, you know, we just got a little downdraft here. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I basically went from... You know, being down a couple hundred bucks to being up 35 bucks. Yeah, pretty decent swing in just a it's, short amount of time. It's, it's, it's a good swing. And uh, when you take a look at the aspect of where we actually were uh, when we come on, and I was saying, okay, if you're going to day trade it, you know, this is where the defined risk is really cool. As long as you understand what you're risking mm -hmm. and what your price projection is. Yep. So I had, a, I had a question here. So we were talking about the regulatory aspect of it. And I know what, what you have now is that what we've seen is that you have a couple market makers go. It, mm -hmm. it, it, I guess what's important for the folks to understand is this, is that you are the market. This is not, you can be the market, meaning the, well, the client, right? Yeah, absolutely. Every individual member can make the market. You don't have to take what's up on the bid or offer. Right. Um, and actually, I encourage people not to do that. Try to work a price. The, if, if you think about a price, yeah, sure. split it. Uh, you know, is there a guarantee that you'll get filled? No. no. No, but if, but if you want to work a better price, if this is what your analysis is, right. work the better price. I mean, right. the, the nice thing is if you if you go in and, and you work a better price, you go to the top of the book. Yes. The market can't trade through your price. You get, you get price and time they priority. They have to take you out. Yep. So, right. so if you're on that, that price first, you've got time priority. So they've got to take out your contracts before anybody else can get filled. That's great to know. And when, when we're talking, folks, time and price, you know, we're looking at the spread right now. Now, this is pretty cool. I mean, you have two, two market makers up there on each side of the book. Uh, we have 20 and 25, so it ends up 45 contracts on each side of the book, which are a lot of contracts, man. I mean, that's 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 some good liquidity. De definitely, particularly when we're talking about this late on a Friday. Totally, exactly, because the risk parameter goes up <laughs> for everyone right now, uh, right? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, you gotta love it. And so, if we go, what what does you know what does happen here, which is important to understand too, is that in the contracts. The, because these trade, just like the future products, when the pits close, it's important to understand, like in gold, it's 130, and oil, it's 230, and um, 
currencies is three o'clock. Those, mm -hmm. those things are important for people, right? It, well, I don't know if all coming, I trade the euro a lot, so the euro, that closes at three. Yeah, if you look at the futures, ours is based on the spot, uh, oh. but you start to see a lot of uh, what I'll call really thin markets, okay. uh, particularly on Friday afternoons. Yes. Um, and by thin, I don't always mean flat. I just mean lack of participation, which often exemplified by a very flat market. However, as we know, you know, if there's 10,000 traders, it can be flat. But if there's only two traders and one goes in big, yeah. all of a sudden you can get some pretty big moves. Right. All, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and that's no. particularly where limited risk right. uh, Total, comes huge. in. Huge. Yeah. No, no doubt about that. The, uh, and, and then what you have, folks, is that what, what gets intriguing here uh, as we go through the day, can you talk a little bit about, so I trade the dailies every day. Then what ends up happening, depending on my time frame, right, mm -hmm. you know, what they, the, you have, Hourlies, okay, mm -hmm. that you know that in, in the NDX 100 particularly, yep. um, you know, one to three, two to four. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're always bringing up new contracts, N new contracts, particularly on the on the day trading. And one of the things, when uh, particularly on the spreads, the way we want to structure it, and we do the same with the binaries. Yes, uh, a lot of people want to trade around that common floor, common ceiling. Right. They, they might that way if they want to be long, they've got you know a floor that's there to limit their losses. Yes. The nice thing is they never have to worry about getting stopped out. Right. So their, their timing doesn't have to be as perfect. How no, many it times, doesn't. How many times have you been in a trade in gold or something? And market moves, stops you out, and then all of a sudden just flies off in what would have been oh, your direction. You, it, the, the mind blower is, and you know we've seen it, particularly in the gold market. Mm -hmm. I've been out of the money like pretty bad, and all of a sudden. You're back in the money, and you, you could. There's no way you could have held it in the futures market. A yeah. Absolutely, the cost right. is just too much, and that's right. really one of the things I'm really most proud about here. Is that we're actually designed for that individual. Where so many, yes, so many contracts. You look at trade and trade oil or gold. That's a lot for uh, for some people. I mean, you, you've got to have pretty deep pockets to trade these and right. participate in them. Uh, through Nadex, you can at a at a relatively reasonable and and really to whatever sensible for you, because it should be sensible. It, it, it absolutely has to be sensible, no yeah. doubt. So let's take a look at uh, how these markets are trading right now as we're coming into, uh, we got what, 347. Oh, and you know what's important to understand, folks, when, you, when you're looking at the, the product also, everything is right in this box. It has the exact amount of minutes before expiration. It has the indicative index of what that's trading at. Mm -hmm. So that little box there, you, you really put together something that's really cool that everything is actually right in that box. A a absolutely. It should have all the information, particularly if you're sitting there ready to close out. You want to look at that box and, uh, and that's what you should be seeing. You should have all the information at hand that you need to make a sensible decision. Right. And, and you know what's so wild is that uh, Tommy and I, it, it, once you're on this platform, folks, you'll end up using the uh, their timer for just the clock in general. Yeah. Because I love those, the seconds that blow my mind. And, and, and on a spread, it, the timer is important. You need to know right. when it expires. Big time. Uh, but particularly in a binary. Oh, yeah. Uh, particularly any, anybody familiar with options understands delta or gamma. If you don't, don't worry about it. But yeah. as a binary approaches expiration, if it's trading right at the money, wow, it can move fast. It can go from 80 to 10 to 90 exactly. to 5 to 20. And, and it's right. not on a, just a tick, 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 but no. it can move so fast. So it, it's important to know when you're getting close to that, that time. Yeah, no doubt about that. So let's go take a look at uh, the market in general here. Um, it's kind of flat, I mean, but from where we, uh, where we were, uh, in, my, in my case, uh, if we can hang here for a little bit, uh, we'll be pretty good. Uh, Dow's down uh, seven, NASDAQ is uh, flat, S&Ps are off three, and uh, the NQs are at that uh, 5412 NQM7. And we take a look at that. So, and this is, you know, I, I had said to Dan, you know, earlier, uh, you know, I always like these high volume lows that are out there. And in this particular case, where the sell was, it had to do with the seller yesterday. That's what it had to do with. It's like, okay, who's out there at 5422? That was the, that's the number you know, from 9.30 yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. And if, when you take your crosshairs, folks, okay, that's, you know, that's where the flack was today, 54.24, and then 54.25. It's like, the same range. Same range, man, you know, so you never know, you know, is it the same person or not, but it's like just the theory that's okay, you know, someone doesn't want that to get above that. Now the real question mm -hmm. is gonna be, uh, you know, these last two cells, I do 10 minute bars, these last two cells were, we're good. I mean, I, I saw the expansion of volume. That's what I needed. You know, so we'll, we'll see where this shakes in. And now it's also important to understand is that even though that's at 415, I don't have to wait to 415 to close that out. Right. 
You know, so the, so the bottom line, yeah. Yeah, if, if you wanted to get out of it right now and just said, hey, I'm happy with it, a exactly. go, go ahead and, and uh, place your order to And, and guess to what? Take profit. I, I just might because the, the reality is is that I was down and now I'm up a few bucks or I'm flat. And guess what? It's yeah. a Friday afternoon. It's, it's a Friday afternoon. Flat so might what, be a winner. Flat might be a winner. Yeah. I think uh, last we saw you were up about a buck 30, right. 130. Right. So. Right. You stay right there. Dan and I come right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading News letters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dan Cook, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and problem. With us. Dan is the Director of Business Development at Nadex. And I do want to thank him for all the tigers and tigresses, me personally and everyone here, for sponsoring this workshop tomorrow. Uh, oh, we're psyched. Um, I'm so excited about it. I love, obviously, working with you guys. We have a great time at these workshops. It's yeah. a lot of fun, a lot of great information. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just an all-around great event, and it's great to meet everybody face-to-face. -face. And, you know, folks, we got, we've got 150 people coming. I mean, so it's, it's going to be fun. It's pretty cool. It's uh, going to be fun. And... Uh, Bottom line is that we look forward to seeing everyone out there. Uh, you know, market-wise out here, it's going to get, you know, bottom line is you get markets hanging at highs. That's that's the reality, and it's like, okay, we've been up here for a long period of time. Uh, you know, if we go take a look at the, we just go over a couple of the indices again quickly. Uh, the SPY is laying out here at 237.37, and so on the... Uh, on the daily, you can say, yeah, it failed. But guess what? That volume's light on the way, way down. Uh, we take a look at the NDX 100. Inside the NDX 100, you know, you're flat. <laughs> <laughs> look at that market, man. It's, it's just insane. Isn't it? Uh, the small caps, we take a look at the small caps out here. Uh, small caps uh, up 66 cents. Now, the thing that's amazing about the small caps, the small caps haven't been able to stay over the high going back to December 9th. 
That being said, guess what? You know, you rejected the lower price this week again. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, that one's higher price too. Uh, and if we go into uh, the Dow, the things is kind of intriguing out here. It's like, okay, the Dow, you know, is, is turning into one of the weaker indices. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, okay, what that, what's that all about? Right now, it, uh, so the Dow, you're going to have a failure on the uh, daily, but that's it. Now, mm -hmm. none, none of these are going to be failing um, on the weekly, you know. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see where the rest of it shakes out. Uh, if we go back to uh, my NDX 100 trade, uh, and this is where you know you, you make a decision, folks. Okay, you can turn around and say, okay, listen, um, the box is 54.20. You know, you can you can lay here and say, okay, you know, bottom line is you you know you want to take it off here. You want to go into the 415. Now I'm going to happen to go into the 415, and this is why, because I've been a day trader for so long, the aspect of because of how we started off today mm -hmm. um i suspect that a lot of people they're bulls and they've been right that they bought and what ends up happening is that they're trapped but they're not trapped but they're gonna sell mm -hmm. they can sell come into the close and you got to get used to this over the course of years okay but it depends on where the market started in the morning versus mm -hmm. what it's done do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you look at the recent price action. It, exactly. So, you know, it doesn't mean I'm going to be right, folks, okay? Uh, what, it, what it has to do with is actually a day trader going home clean, because I've been in both positions, and you want to go home clean. And, you know... Yeah, it, yeah absolutely. You, you don't want to worry over the weekend. It's pretty nerve-wracking uh, if you have uh, positions on over the weekend. And in particular, because we're at such higher highs. Yeah. That's, 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 see, that's the other side of it, too. You, you could yeah. wake up on Monday morning and find out all Down the deals 50. fell off. Yeah. Down 50 on a NASDAQ in yeah. a second, okay? So that's where I'm going with, with this whole concept, con concept here. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, technically, folks, I, you can't... I can't... I can teach quite a bit about you know, time of the trade and all that, but you can't teach that. You have to have had seen that over mm -hmm. and over. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, to, to, uh, absolutely. And, and just say, okay, I'm going long shot, what am I doing? Yeah, so. it's St. Patty Day. Nobody wants to go to the bar broke. No, that's a great point. <laughs> that's no doubt, a, <laughs> that, no doubt a great point out here. Uh, so, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, it's always a great time to do it. And remember, you just come over to our website at TFNN, you hit the Nadex banner, you can bring up the exchange, and it is a full-blown full, full blown exchange, folks. Uh, bottom line is that you can test drive it. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and guess what? Tommy and I, we trade them every morning. Just You can come with us, walk, walk with us as we trade these defined option contracts. Well, it's always a pleasure, man. My pleasure, absolutely. Really looking forward to tomorrow. Big time. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking to you right back here, 8 o'clock, Monday morning. Wow! You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.